Dead! Spotters, uh, Wonder Woman, if you can't tell from the thumbnail or the title of the video, but, or the, or the music, or the music, or, or the, yeah, yeah, kick ass theme song. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed you're, it. You're you're lying. You did more than enjoy it. I I loved it. Okay. I I think there are a lot of moments that worked for me. There is one element that I was like I could do without. Really? I want to hear what that is. But the rest I thought was a solid film. Mm -hmm. I thought a lot of things worked. Um I I think Patty Jenkins did a really good job at this movie. I think that her her cinematography style was really cool. I think a lot of the elements that she brought to the table were exceptional, you know. And I thought Gal Gadot was Gal Gadot, whatever, however you pronounce her name. Uh, she was nothing less, you know. She was exceptional too. She was, you know. I I felt like this this kind of. Um, the thing that I could praise about the movie, uh, is that I could compare it to Donner's Superman, the first one. Mm -hmm. And, uh... How, how, how is it like the first Superman? Uh, because you have, uh, you have, uh, I'm gonna compare, uh, Christopher Reeve's performance mm -hmm. to Gal Gadot's. Mm -hmm. I think what she, what she did, she was naive. She was naive about the world. Um, Superman never really got, you know, uh, uh, understood what it meant to have stakes until, spoilers, if you haven't seen the first Superman movie, mm -hmm. um, when Lois Lane dies mm -hmm. in the first movie, he never really knew what stakes were up until that point. And then, and then that's when he kicks it up a gear, that's when he goes around the world, and and uh, and saves saves the world, uh, takes out Lex Luthor, all his history. I got that with this. You know, it had to take a certain measure for her to for her to kick it up a notch. Um, and it, just like this kind of like I'm coming into my own kind of innocence mm -hmm. that I got displayed with. With Christopher Reeve and Gal Gadot and the way that they performed it, um, I think the pacing because uh, he she, she does not become Wonder Woman until like an hour into the movie, like when she's like in the in the garb, mm -hmm. and she does not become Wonder Woman until an hour in the movie, and that's the same with uh, with uh, Christopher Reeve. He did not become Superman. He did not like open up his shirt. And started saving the day as Superman up until like an hour and twenty minutes into the first movie, um, and that's and that's what I got. I, I see a lot of uh, comparisons with that. Uh, I think that Chris Pine was uh, he was good. Like you know, I, and I love the chem. I like the chemistry between uh, between uh, him and uh, and uh, and Gal. Um, the only gripe I have about the movie that I could completely take out mm -hmm. is the people that worked with them. Really? The um the Scottish guy, the the French guy. I think he's French. I can't tell. I I can't tell. He said wee oui, wee oui a lot, so I'm right. assuming French. That's, that's and then French. He and had a red hat. And then uh, a fez. Mm -hmm. It's called a fez. 
Um, Doctor Who, guys. Doctor Who. Um, the Native American. The Native American. And that's pretty much the extent of their character. Um, I did not... I did not see their purpose other than okay. other than that I mean they could be just random soldiers that help help uh, Steve along but they had to go in and and you know half acidly give them character give them uh, give them like quote unquote traits mm -hmm. which I think that was the weakest point of the film just them I would rather have it more uh, Steve working with Diane and that was it um, but other than that I I, I, I adore this movie um, Rupert Williams did a great job at the at, uh, take it from Hans Zimmer and and uh, making it a good score I love the I love the <laughs> in a DC movie this actually has color so uh, oh my god oh my god <laughs> is that a thing <laughs> that is a thing. Oh no. <laughs> um yeah, Peter. What are your thoughts on the on... I like how I'm shrouded in darkness, but it, it might fit for this review. You're shrouded in light and I'm shrouded in darkness. <laughs> um Bad uh, lighting, but nevertheless. Yeah, it works. You just need to hear me. Um What was the first thing I, I, I sent to you when I got out of the film? You were disappointed. Why? Um, uh, and I'm, I'm so mad. Maybe I let this happen to me. Uh -huh. But I don't think so. I think because it's literally everyone that was doing this. I, I feel like this film got overhyped. Okay. And I usually I'm the try, I try to be the person not to like buy into that. You like even I I I'm not one of those people that says like don't listen to reviews. No, like I I totally listen to reviews because um, that's it, the general that's, consensus yeah, of like, the film. I I you need to trust people with the reviews and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You don't need to, but you always find people that are like you that have the same sensibilities. I mean, if if you trust like, there's people out there that are you're you're close to someone you know their type of film they like you know it's the same as yours and you ask them like oh is that film good and if they say no you'll be like oh okay like you believe it. so and i because i'm just saying this because a lot of people are dc and rotten tomatoes and all that yeah there, um, a lot of fanboys getting butthurt yeah. um reviews are not the end all be all mm -hmm. but i do think they have a place the fuck? turn that shit on um <laughs> Uh, but it wasn't just that this film got really high reviews. Mm -hmm. It was the way people talked about it. And it, it's like... Like, oh, it's the best superhero film ever. Like, uh, so many people say, oh, like, this is easily, like, one of the best superhero films I've ever seen. One of the best origin films I've ever seen. Like, just, just really putting this in a high pedestal. And people that I really trust with, like... Where I don't consider them fanboys. It's like, they're they're putting this film on a pretty high pedestal. So I was like, okay. Like, I, re I let myself get into it. Like, this is going to be something special. At the end of the day, I'm not disappointed because it was a bad film. Because at the end, I do think it was a good, solid um, superhero film. Uh, at the end, I'm disappointed because it did not m meet any of the expectations everyone had put it up to be okay um so it's mm, it is the 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 first good dceu film they did it bravo they bravo came. to patty jenkins she did it um she did it <laughs> she did do it they came um, they saw they kicked their ass it, it's very it's it's very well made a very solid um, solid superhero origin film mm -hmm. like there's and I we've all seen them like you go in you say like that was solid that was good it's not amazing it's not bad at all but it, it's just it's in that middle part where I think the majority of superhero films sort of lie 
It's like you got the majority where it's solid, good. It's level. You have the bad ones, and then you have the really good ones. Um, yeah, it's a very small upper tier, a very small lower tier, and then most are solid, good in in that range. Mm -hmm. And I think it was more in that middle range. And the way everyone talked about it, they really put it on that high range. Um, but all the good things that people do talk about the film, I do think are good. Patty Jenkins, I think, directed it very well. Um, Chris Pine did a really good job. I'm a little different than you. I, I don't, I didn't fall in love with them. But the little side character um, people they brought along with them, I thought they were good. I, I liked them. They were likable. Mm. I'll put it that way. They were likable. Um, I thought well, I probably won't remember them in like. No, you won't remember them. But a week. That's what I'm saying. Solid, not. Um, Gal Gadot as well. I think did a good job. Uh, people were like, "Oh my gosh, she was so amazing." She wasn't amazing, but she she definitely did a good job. I give her this credit that this is her first lead role. Is it? This is her first. She's played lead like roles though. Like she's but she has been, been like up there. she's been like a Who? secondary character, like in in a BVS or. A, or uh, the Fast and the Furious, but even with films. this, I do feel like um, Chris Pine definitely did a lot of heavy lifting, like a lot. Like, like I, it, it's gonna be really interesting to, for me to see Wonder Woman two, to see how it is without Chris Pine, because for me, it it felt more more equal level than I thought it would be. Cause like Chris, in terms of uh, Gal and Chris's performance, yeah. Um, not performance, but, like, screen time. Okay. An amount you're given to do. Like, um, I thought Chris Pine, he would be in there, but there would be, there would be, I felt, I thought there would be less of him. There was actually more of him than I thought, which isn't a bad thing, because Chris Pine is always great. Um, but it, it, it was just more equal time, so it, it, um, it, it's hard to tell. I, I don't think she did bad at all. I definitely think she did a really good job. She's really charismatic. You know what she reminds me of? Um, some of the earlier years um, of The Rock when he was acting. Like, okay. he's not the most amazing actor, but he's definitely got some chops, and he really rides it with his charisma. And then years later, years, now he's he's, he's, he's got, becoming he's, really good. Yeah, he's got the chops. So she's not the very very first. Like I'm not talking Scorpion King. <laughs> no, she's she's better than that. You're mm, better than that, girl. You're better than that. I'm talking like a few movies later where he's gotten the acting lessons and he's 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 that got it. That movie where he was a football star <laughs> and he had this long lost daughter. What was that, the game plan? The game plan. <laughs> Your game, she's game plan level, right? That's all I'm saying. She's game plan level. Uh, but give her give her a few years, mm -hmm. She's. I, th I think she's going to blow up. I think she's, she's going to continue to get way better with her acting. And like I said, she has that charisma, that I, which I also think is great for Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. And that really helps her. Um, the, the action... Uh, you, well, do you want to get into spoilers, or... Yeah, fuck it. Spoilers. Spoilers, okay. Um, action, I'm kind of mixed. Okay, why? Is it because of the overbloatedness of the CG? Not, not even that. Although there was a, a few scenes where it's like, er, but I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm not that bad on CG, unless uh -huh. it's horror films. If it's a horror film and you have CG, yeah. I'm, I'm probably going to be like... A, no. little, a little bitch about it. Yeah. Because yeah. to me, if it's CG, it ain't scary. Um, but... With, it, it, it takes out the stakes. Yeah. It doesn't... You need to feel realistic. We don't need to get into that right now. But <laughs> um, with the action, it, it looked like very well choreographed. A lot of it really well shot. Uh -huh. But... And it's funny because I'm a huge Zack Snyder fan and I've never complained with this about Zack Snyder. Yeah. But the slow-mo. It felt like... Every other action action movement, bit was like was like complete slow mo like, and it's like I get no like I'm like I get it that is a coolest shit shot, but like do it maybe twice a fight scene, I feel like it was like five six seven times a fight scene which like especially that beach scene, I remember people saying oh that beach scene is so great, and I was like, 
Yes, like there, there is some great choreography. There's some great shots in the way it's done. My favorite, my favorite, too much uh, slow mo, and, and the cutting was a little weird. My favorite action bit mm -hmm. has got to be when uh, she went into no man's land. That's another thing. Um, that's another one where people are like, oh my god, no man's land. Like, oh my god, like that scene, that scene, that's so great. That scene. Um, I expected more. Like, really? Yeah, like literally all that happens is, and again, this is where I almost kind of laughed, because it's, it's like so overly dramatic, like, uh, I gotta go uh, in there. And then like the, the, like they, I feel like they over, they kind of did it, overdid it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the action is good, but in No Man's Land, all she did was have the shield. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then they cut from No Man's Land right into when they're in the town. And the, the action in the town, again, was really good. Like, dude, 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 Patty Jenkins knows how to um, direct and and shoot real choreographed action. Again, the my only issue is way overabundance of um, slow-mo. Because it feels like every other shot is trying to be like a promo picture. Like, everyone has like... With her hair perfect, like, doo, like, doo, doo. and it's like her hair was on fleek. <laughs> it was on fleek. The that was, and you know, and I understand that's a complete pet peeve. But yeah. there are several times where I'm like, her makeup and her hair is so perfect. This is so unrealistic. All the, uh, also, but I'm like, also another. She's a god, so we can we can let that slide. Also, another thing that's a pet peeve is mm. that all the Amazonians had like perfect mascara on. Did you notice <laughs> yeah. that? Yeah, and I'm like. Uh, you guys aren't supposed to know these technologies, <laughs> such as Mac or Katori. <laughs> that was my thing, like, several times, like, when she's, like, in her, like, deep fight scenes, and, like, it's bloody, muddy war, everyone's all dirty, and her hair is blown perfectly. I'm not just talking about that, and, I mean... And her, and I know the makeup, too, like, boom. Like, uh, Robin Wright's character had... Had mascara oh, yeah, I, I on Connie too. Nielsen. This character had, uh, which I have not seen. I, don't I can believe it a little bit because they had makeup like a long time ago. Before. I don't think I've seen a movie of her since Gladiator. Hmm. Um, but um, anyway, um, but yeah, for me, I loved. I the action scenes were very well. Done. Well, okay, there's three. I would say major action scenes. Mm -hmm. The first two are really well done. It's just the slow motion kind of it it took it, you out. It took me out a little bit. Uh -huh. So it's like I I get it. Like this is cool. It it just it just felt like someone who just discovered discovered slow motion. They're like, oh shit, this looks cool. We gotta do it. And they kind of overdo it a little bit. It's still very well done. Really good action. It's like um, are you, the way that you make it sound. It makes it sound like a a, a student a film a film student. Just discovered the lightsaber effect on uh, After Effects. <laughs> it, this is what I'm saying because it's so ironic. The the complaints that the majority of people usually have for Zack Snyder and Zack Snyder's films that I never have yeah. is the, the issue that I have here. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, but those two, there was like three major fight scenes. Those two well, fight scenes were cool. The story the last, was by Zack Snyder. The last one was freaking terrible. The one between uh, Ares and a uh, and, and a was Dan. so stupid. I did not like that final action scene at all. Like it was some dumb shit. It it honestly, if I had to describe it, to me it was a combination of fan four stick and the BVS ending. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because it's like. It's again with this thing with like I know he's a god and stuff, uh -huh. but the entire fight it's these terrible CG backgrounds with like they're just being and again like, before I get into that Diana's skill set and like her her powers as far as her invulnerability mm -hmm. you never truly understand it's never explained the lengths of what her what powers she can are or what can she do. can or cannot do. Because at the beginning, it seems like she can be shot and killed by a bullet and die. and But then it gets to the point where, like, at the end, she's tossing tanks, surviving huge explosions. And it's like, well, 
realistically, if she can survive this, she can. She could have stood in the middle of no man's land and took bullets like nothing. Like it's so it 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 kind of throws me off because I'm trying to understand how exactly strong is she. Do you get what I'm saying? But Peter, hmm. her mascara. It was on fleek. <laughs> it was on fleek. Yas queen. Yas queen. <laughs> Insert that emoji, whatever that is. Hashtag. Hashtag. Uh, <laughs> um, no, but that fight scene was bad. And like Aries, I call, I called it. I knew that was he was gonna be Aries. I called that shit. Um, the the twist with who he was. I thought because I was like, oh, and then we'll get to another one of my dislikes with the villains. But as far as Aries, um, that fight scene with him, I thought it could have been cool. It could have been um, BVS that ending, but done right. Uh huh. Like, with the God of War, you could have done some cool shit with him. That's the God of War. You could, maybe you could have had a flame sword or, I don't know, like, something Ghost cool. Army or something like that? I don't know about Ghost Army, but just, there's a million things that pop to my head when you think of, like, Ares, the God of War. Um, but with this, I, like, I kept thinking he was going to transform and, like, to, like, his God form, and it would be, like, this big, devastating armor thing and it would look super fucking cool and they'd go at it he, he did it was it was like the the rental version of what i thought it was gonna because he just got the metal around him and then did it but it still but he still looked the same and he still had that like posh english accent with the mustache so it was kind of hard to take and take him as intimidating hey, hey. Don't disrespect David Thewlis. <laughs> and the entire and the entire fight was just him going, "Ha! I will throw this at you now, and this I am throwing." Th and it's like, and that's the thing. It's like, wait, what are his powers to throw shit? Like, I guess that's the full extent of the God of War. You think the God of War would bring some cool firepower, some cool fighting moves? Huh. Huh. But the extent of his po powers is this crap. It was just it was just a lame fight scene at, at the end of the day, and it was really disappointing because I was kind of looking forward to the to, to the end showdown. Yeah, especially since I guess all the gods are dead now, except for um, uh, Wonder Woman, because Ares was supposedly the last god, and then she was the son of Zeus. No, the daughter of Zeus. So she's kind of the last one. And I was like, ah, that's kind of lame. I kind of wanted to see the the pantheon of the gods. But because I really love Greek mythology. You know what that they would be cool. You know what they should add? Huh? Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Hercules. Shared universe. <laughs> they should, because that movie was terrible. But they'll, they'll get his Shazam. Maybe he's... They, they've... Oh. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Um... I'm the adopted son of Zeus. <laughs> he adopted son of Zeus. Um, the villains... Th this is my issue with the villains. I actually... I'm one of those people that usually does not give a shit about weak villains. Mm -hmm. Because I love and praise most of the Marvel films. And they all have weak as shit villains. Um... With the exception of three. Doctor Strange's villain was weak. Um, Ant-Man's was weak. A lot of them were weak. And the difference between those and this one is... It, those villains were weak because they didn't... They took away time they could have spent developing the, the villain to develop the character. Okay. And to do stuff with them. And it's like... Okay, whatever. Like it's as long as you're not getting in the way of the film, I kind of I'm okay with it being slightly weak. It does still bring down the film a bit, but it doesn't um, get in the way of the film, so I'm more lenient. So you have it. a feeling that Ares got in the way of the film. I'm not even talking about Ares. I'm talking about Doctor Poison and freaking um, evil villain General Number Thirty Six. I, I don't know. I was gonna. I was gonna make a. I was gonna make a Putin. Uh, <laughs> Putin joke, but they were German. 
Um, German, Russian, vain American, they don't count. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> America. America. <laughs> no, but like, they were beyond cartoonish with their villain, their villainy. Like, yes, we shall destroy everything. Like, I, I was waiting for a mwa <laughs> <laughs> like I really expected Might as well. <laughs> to pull that shit, and it kind of gets in the way when the point of like the whole message of the film uh -huh. was supposed to be, you know, there's not there's not just um, gray and light, you know, not 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 black and white. There's people are gray, you know. Yeah. There's there's both good and bad. And that would work if you... Sh I feel that would work better if you had villains where you displayed that in them. Where you showed, like, there is both good and bad in them. And it's like, Diana's kind of struggling with that. Because she's like, but they're the bad guys. But there's this layer of, you know... Of good. Of good in them, or a slight humanity in them. And it, it, it sort of, like, messes with her. Like, I don't understand. Um, but but instead of that, you have, like, the most cookie-cutter evil villains. Mustache, mustache twirling. And that that's the big reason why I think that gets in the way. Because with the other films, the message... The villains didn't directly interfere with the message of the film. And I feel like these films... Uh, would these villains directly interfere with the message of the film? If you catch my drift. But it was a good film, right? It was a good film. I know I'm. <laughs> I'm only going off on the on the negatives because I feel like all the positives are out there. The music is great. Uh -huh. I really enjoyed the music. Like I said, the action scenes are well done. Aside from the slight thing with the like, mm, I thought Dermascura was really cool. I enjoyed being there in the beginning and stuff like that. The The chemistry between um, Wonder Woman and Steve was great. That, I will say, is the best out of most comic book films. Their their relationship. That's, that I'd put that on the top tier out of most comic book films. Their relationship that they have. And that's, their and chemistry, that's, I'll say. And that's why I'll go back to uh, the the three amigos that they had with them. Do you, you feel like they got on the way? I, I felt like it got in the way of uh, of more development between uh, between uh, between Steve and and, uh, and Diana. I'll tell you this. Diane. Maybe you could take them out and put... De I would rather have more development for the villains... Uh. And that, like, you just take them out and put the... And I, and I do kind of like the stuff that they were... So so this is kind of funny, because now I'm kind of defending something, and you're kind of going off on this, with this film. But there was certain things that I thought, like I said, they were trying to add to the overall message of the film, where it's like you had the the Scottish sharpshooter. But he did not... He, and, and he, he didn't he do had, any sharpshooting, though. I know, but that was kind of the point. Like, he had issues with what he had done and he, you know they said he sees ghosts and the other one he wanted to be an actor and, and I think he said wrong color I'm the wrong color basically he deals with his own persecution and stuff like that and it, and they it, they're sort of like they are there to have um Wonder Woman Diana see different issues in society sort of like See the see the whole bunch of gray that she would have never thought of, because she lived in isolation. I think I so think kind of see. I think she would have gotten the gist of not not gray per se, but get a glimpse of of uh, of humanity when you do get into the into the no man's land and you see uh, soldiers, you know dying left and right, dying for a mm -hmm. proper cause, you know. Um, I, I think that would have uh, worked out better versus uh, all the other ones. I mean, if they were, if the if the background characters were were better, mm -hmm. I think that, okay, that would have been that would have been uh, solid, but I, I didn't get much development with them. I uh, let me ask you something. And then at the end, they were like, "Oh, we're randomly here again." 
you know. What are you talking about? Remember at the end, after the big old uh, showdown between Ares and uh, Wonder Woman? Yeah. And then they came out of the rubble like, oh, remember us? We're, we're no, here they were again. No, but they were there the entire fight. I gotta fight you on that, because they were there. Like, they were fighting off the Germans and stuff like that. Like, they, they were doing their part. Um, I think that light just died. Um... Is it still recording? Yeah. Okay. No, I, I, I think they were doing their job. I, it wasn't weird when they showed up because they were they were always there. Mm-hmm. I'll ask you this. Um, what? Who? What? What group of um, hooligan friends do you like better? These ones in Wonder Woman or the Howling Commandos in Captain America? Hmm. I didn't even know that there was any commandos in Captain America. That's pretty bad. You don't remember the guys they when took they were, with them? When they were going to the warehouse, and then uh, and then Steve Rogers was doing the whole shoot-up in the warehouse. Is that the... like? I remember there's one shot in the, the first Avengers, mm-hmm. and he's going R- into... R- when, he is, when he rescues Bucky... That's when he first sees them and he rescues them. He doesn't even he doesn't even remember. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> See, I would attack you for not remembering, but maybe it's the film's fault that you don't remember. Cause I, my next point was gonna be, um, and I don't think this is a knock towards Wonder Woman at all, but just because a lot of people were saying um, it's nothing like the first cat film. It is actually uh, quite a bit like it. At least certain characters. Like certain characters fill the same spot that I saw in the first Cap film. So I, I was just, it was just interesting seeing some similarities. Like how, like how uh, she's Peg, she's uh, not Peggy Carter. She's uh, she's, she's Cap, Cap mm-hmm. and uh, he's uh, he's Peggy Carter. Yeah. And, and, uh, and I was going to say the Howling Commandos and then this group of people. Um, and then it, it's, 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 it's similar. Like, they, they go on their adventures to stop yeah. the evil, to end the war. And then Stanley Tucci, is, Stanley what? Tucci's character <laughs> is he in, in, a, in a, the first Avenger is uh, Robin Wright's character. You know, kind of like, you got to be more than that. You got to be, you got to go out and do your yeah. thing. And then Howard Stark is probably Connie Nelson. I don't know. No, 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 no. I think we're losing it now. Um, yeah. But I don't, like I said, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I, I do think Wonder Woman is his own thing. And like I still think it's a good, solid film. It's just, oh, man. I, I'm kind of disappointed because it was oversold. Oversold. And another thing, another negative for me is um the final, the final, the whole message the of the final. film. Did did were you cool with the the whole message of the film? Uh, what was the message of the film? I am woman. Hear me roar. That was <laughs> feminism. No, um, feminism. <laughs> it it was. I I assumed from the very beginning it was going to be this whole thing of like because that's the way they were leading it down. It's like. No, it's not Ares that do it. You know, man is the one that does this evil. But while there is bad in them, there is still good. And, you know, we can't give up on people based on their mistakes, stuff like that. I thought I was going to go to the whole thing. But once it gets to it, it's just more of, like, love. Love is the answer. And I was like, okay, I guess love is the answer. I don't love know. is an open door. <laughs> but I'm like... I, I, it just came off weird. It kind of reminds me of... Um, have you seen Interstellar yet? Yeah. I, I saw it opening night. Okay. Like, it, you know, like it, it's going along good. Check out on the Barely News crew our review of Interstellar. You know how Interstellar is going along good and stuff like that? And then yeah. it gets to the part where... Um, where Anne Hathaway is she like... She just does that whole di- diet... Or like... 
she does that whole speech on like love. Love is the love is love the, the answer. Key. It's the key to everything, and it just kind of feels like okay, like it just kind of comes out of nowhere. Yeah, and it's like I guess this is where we're going with it. That's how I kind of felt at the end, uh-huh. where it's like I I see what you're trying to do, but it doesn't completely mesh. Like that to me, that's not really what. The message of the film was trying to send like what you think? love conquers all and it's like no that's not exactly what it's trying to say what did you think about uh about uh batman uh being being kind of the side 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 plot he's not the, he's not a side <laughs> plot. he sets off the i like that i thought that was cool the beginning where and he's the like end. um where he shows the picture and then it it, it makes her think about he's, the past and then it comes back to the to and she explains like oh this is who i am and this is what made me the way i am and then she and then she messages him uh mm-hmm. thank you for bringing him back yes back to me all, all of that was really good i liked it i liked the way they used him and you notice every film has had batman every film has had a reference to batman in, including man of steel yeah with the little satellite the satellite DC cannot let Love Batman, Batman go. go. <laughs> they, they, he will be like a so dead. You know, it, it could be like Batman twenty. Everyone's like, "Stop, boo, go home." They'd be like, "No, guys, it's Batman." Go. <laughs> <sighs> to be fair, though, I'm I I am looking forward to the next Batman. <laughs> the, you got Ten, you got Ten, me, DC. Hey, you hey, got me. Hey. Josh Gad as Penguin. No, no. <laughs> I love Josh Gad. I think the Penguin Penguin character would be a cool way to go. I don't see it. If they can make it work, I'm cool with it. Because I like both things. And if you can put them together and make them work, I am there. But I don't see it. But then again, I'm the multi-million dollar movie making guy. So what the hell do I know? You could be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Give Warner Brothers your card. I know, I'm going to give Warner Brothers my card. Warner here's Brothers. My, here's my card. Here's my card. <laughs> uh, Does your balls drop? <laughs> Does your balls drop? You see a guy like me. <laughs> but if someone, like, they have they have a meeting with the w, uh, WB, or um, what's it called? War, uh, Jeff Warner Jones Brothers. or something like that? Yeah, and they DC. walk in with the fucking... Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> That's he, how they enter he, the boardroom. They're <laughs> like, get out. <laughs> I thought my jokes were bad. My jokes were bad. <laughs> and he's like, what makes you think that you're going to bring the DCEU back together? Mm-hmm. Just look like I'm the guy with the plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final thoughts. Um... I, I know it seems like I've been super negative on this film. The only reason I, I like, majority of the time talk about the negatives is because I think you're hearing the positives everywhere else. And you're I don't, not, and I don't disagree with them at all. Like the, this is a, this is a good film, solid, well-made. Um, this is the first, um, live action, uh, DC film since maybe the dark Knight. you, you can maybe have an argument for if whether this is better than The Dark Knight Rises or not. But maybe for me, because just for entertainment values, The Dark Knight, or it's the best since then, live-action DC film. Um, it's really well made. If you see it, you're going to enjoy it. I think it's a good film. It's just... I, I just wanted to get out because I feel I'm going to feel differently than most people mm-hmm. in that... It just didn't live up to the high expectations I that felt everybody else that was everyone else bring it up to. Yeah, the the high the high level that everyone else feels. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm not there, so that's just why I was mostly talking the negatives. Is that your feelings? On the <laughs> Those are my feelings. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely love the movie. Um, it'll probably be in my top ten, knowing me. Um, top ten what? <laughs> films of the year. We don't have that many movies coming not, out this year. Not that many. You're right. We'll see. So uh, I'm saving my number one because I'm, <laughs> I'm a Star Wars bitch. 
That is true. So, <laughs> I'm waiting until Last Finch Jedi. Above all. I'm waiting until Last Jedi. E- either that or uh, or as as far as mm-hmm. this year's go goes, um, it's probably going to either go to my number one spot is going to go to either Logan or Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Uh, for me, I think so far Logan. Logan. I I. But for me, I think I might even like that film better than more not better, more than most people. I I think it's better than even what most people think. Like I genuinely just adore the film. I, I think it's and again, that might be a lot of bias. Just growing up with Hugh with X, and all that. X Men and X Men. But yeah. Dude, the ending made me cry. Of Wonder Woman? Yeah. I could see you in the theater crying. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Um, anyway, I'm uh, I'm Kyle Lara. Check out our other After Darks. Check out uh, Pirates. It, sh- it, it should be up by oh. now. Um, okay, I'll tell you this. If you're, if you're wondering to either watch Pirates or Wonder Woman, go watch Wonder Woman. <laughs> Um, also, uh, also check out our uh, our podcast on podcast.com, iTunes. Um, check out for other after darks coming up pretty soon. I don't know what's I don't know what's next. Uh, what is I don't know. Maybe War of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. An atomic blonde. Are you gonna see the Mummy? The Mummy. I think that's coming out next week. What mummy? The mummy with Tom Cruise. Oh my god! <laughs> Mission Impossible, um, <laughs> Arabian Nights, or I don't know. Arabian Nights! <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Check you guys, check us out under the spotlight. Bye.